How's it going, boys? We're back. And before we get started, subscribe, like, share, definitely subscribe, definitely like, definitely share. Like I tell you guys, I'm going to keep on telling you guys. I talk about a lot of cool shit, so you know, I remember my numbers up. And today, boys, we're going to be talking about Scarlet and Violet Base and how they evolved and the bear market that I guess we're in. Um, and here to tell you guys to relax, relax. Yes, it does feel very bearish. I will give you guys that. But it's not horrible at all. Um, to start things off, a lot of stores are today, the time recording this video, they're kind of like flash selling. They're kind of dumping these, you know, two Scarlet and Violet sets. And I would say they are, but I recognize what's going on. It kind of happened in the last four sets where the sets drop, people sell them. At like a little bit higher price than you know what you normally would want to buy 120 130 and then they get a lot more stock they get everything they allocated and then they kind of sell at close to a loss and me personally i think this is normal everything that's happening right now is absolutely normal and what i've noticed has happened is that after that drop they go back up but let's see hypothetically this doesn't happen with this one where it doesn't go back up after that drop. Pokemon seal product. And specifically, let me tell you guys, I'm talking about booster boxes. They always go up every single time. No matter how bad the set is, no matter how overprinted the set is, it always goes up. Chilling Rain, Battle Styles. So you guys don't have to go too far in your memory banks. Overprinted, printed to the moon. Everybody had it, boxes and boxes of booster cases booster boxes went up so these two sets first time with the silver borders crazy amazing pull rates fun in general to pull what's the downside what is the downside so yes right now let's say you buy 105 once in a booster box and then tomorrow it falls to 100 a box it's like a momentary l you're gonna hold the l for like what a month two months maybe Three months from now, it's going back up to 105. Six months from now, 110. Let's see, hypothetically, next year, it doesn't move up much, but it only goes up to 115. But you still love the set, still trust Pokemon, and you just, in general, love collecting cases, booster boxes. What's the downside? Now, me personally, I don't know your pockets, I don't know your wallets. You guys make your own decisions. But me, me 105? all day shooting that trigger and um i kind of wanted to make this video to show you guys shooting the trigger literally amazing sense exactly what i told you i'm i'm putting my trust in them and, and holding you feel me so i kind of want to make this video just because here soon it is going to be weird it's going to be a weird space especially for those two sets uh, people are going to get tired of ripping them people are going to start you know pulling the same srs and they're going to be you know all this and all that I just gonna make this video just kind of like relax everything's gonna be fine if you guys want to invest in this if you guys have the capital for it you guys trust the product buy in um one big thing i always like to remember whenever like this is going on is a year from now when the product is gonna be 130 you always are gonna have that regret that damn why did i not go ahead and buy it um me personally, just to give you guys a little bit of context on my experience with that feeling is uh, what's called Darkness of Blaze. Darkness of Blaze got that crazy reprint. I already had two booster boxes for my seal collection that I bought at 170. They had that crazy reprint that kind of crashed the market on Darkness of Blaze. People were flash selling cases for $620, $600 on average, $100 a box, right? I didn't pull the trigger. And a year and a half, now, you know, since that date, I still regret it. Now, Chilling Rain, I got a whole bunch of it. A year from a year ago when I bought it, or a year and a half ago when I got it, I didn't think about it. Sitting here today, no regrets. Perfect example of what's going on with here. Right now, 105 a box. Tomorrow drops to 100. Maybe it sucks, but a year from now, even if it only goes to 115. Subtle W, you feel me? So, 
that's my two cents on it even though yes we're in a bearish market strike if you guys are interested trust the product buy in i don't see a downside to this but comment down below let me know if you guys want to tell me anything and with all that being said we gone